Welcome on board the Mandarin 52 Uluru. Uh, as we walk through from the cockpit into the wheelhouse, you can see it's fully enclosed. Uh, the steering position is on the inside, but you have fantastic view all the way around with these um, lovely big windows. There's also a nice seating area up here, nice place to have breakfast so when you're on the anchor you can look out. Um, there's one of the big Furuno radars, we've got all the instrument panels there. Uh, Cummings diesel engine on board this boat. Um, satellite systems, we've got ICOM radios, Garmin GPS's, we've got HF radio. We've got a lovely um, chart table to port to starboard so as you walk in with chart storage. Um, uh, as we move forward you've got the helm seat, nice steering position, all the controls done from inside. You've got your anchor windlass controls, your bow thruster controls, chain counter, everything can be done from the inside. The owner on this boat set up a four camera system uh, which is displayed on that PC there uh, which help with both in the boat. You have a camera looking forward, camera looking aft and two on the side gives you an idea of the space. So this is a really nice um, decent size, plenty of big hatches of ventilation um, and there's a doorway into the cockpit. As we go down this curved staircase uh, you can see the woodwork on board the boat is, um, is really well finished. Um, they've done a really nice job. Everything about the boat feels solid um, and just well put together. Uh, so to port we have the linear galley uh, which we'll see in a minute but uh, following around here we have a lovely big deep saloon. Um, big table probably seating for six or eight there. We have these port windows here which are openable and give us lovely um, natural light and also ventilation. And then down to starboard you'll see we have a, another settee that pulls out to be a double berth, a uh, built-in TV which is actually secure so you can leave it there. Um, as you'll note, all around the boat we have these through hulls, um, which just goes to show everything on this boat is labelled. You open a locker, everything's got a label on it, tells you exactly what it is, where it goes, um, which is a really nice thing. The previous owner on this boat has done a lot of work. Um, regards to labelling, there's, there's about 1500 manuals that come with the boat. Um, so just looking back here we have a lovely uh, built-in bookcase there which is, you don't see very often um, and there's the staircase uh, going back up to the deck house. Now one thing you will like about this boat is when we open up the bookcase we have a full workshop. Um, the owner's leaving on board all of his tools um, you can see here it's all uh, let's see, autopilot controls and lots of other bits and pieces wired up. We've got a big deck wash pump down there. Um, we have a vice and a full workbench which is really useful as everyone knows over a boat. There's always plenty of work to be done. Um, and again all these tools you can see will be staying. There's, spa there's enough spares on this boat to rebuild another two boats I think. Um, down here we have the fuel polishing system which is not too common to find on a um, private boat but uh, very useful if you're in those harbours where you're not too sure on the fuel quality um, and then it walks back out into the saloon. Walking forward of the saloon we then come to the port side we have a heads which has its own shower cubicle, um, a sink and toilet. Now the toilets on this boat are of a, a really nice quality you can either have it salt water flush or fresh water flush obviously the benefit to fresh water flush is it doesn't um, smell, um, but obviously salt water if you're on those long passages again the through hole fittings there but it's a very practical head, um, plenty of space and yeah having that separate shower cu cubicle is very nice. If we look to starboard we've got a, another room which uh, in, on this boat houses the air compressor um, and you can see the storage of dive tanks and dive gear. Again the dive gear will be coming along with the boat um, we have I think three BCDs, three, full, three or four octopuses and a couple of new tanks um, and here also we have the Dyson stick bike Dyson which is all plugged in and charging. All throughout the boat we have 240 and 12 volts, um, very comprehensive charging system on board. We have a mixture of wind turbine and solar panels um, as long as a whopping great big 12 kVA genset. Uh, walking through this is the forward cabin. Um, as you can see, really nicely finished, very nice natural wood feel. 
Um, it's got a couple of nice opening portholes which let some lovely uh, ventilation through when you're on anchor. Um, nice big hatch above the uh, deck, above your bed, sorry. Um, plenty of storage underneath here, uh, as well as a hanging locker either side and a TV screen which is all wired up to the aerial so um, it's a nice touch and also we have a cabin fan there. And just looking back through, you can just see the start to get appreciate the size of this boat. Um, for a 50 foot boat, 52 foot, sorry, it's, it's a colossal, it's just huge. Um, under storage, we have under the floor sock cabin sole, we have um, storage for spare anchors. We've got a spare pro uh, propeller under there. Um, you might hear that whirring in the background, that's one of the air conditioning units. We have three of those on board, which keep the boat lovely and cool uh, in the tropical weather. Um, and now as we walk through walk through to the galley you see a double uh, sink plenty of storage again again all the owners leaving all their kitchen equipment on board whether it's any use or not I don't know but uh, it's it's nice if you just need to move straight on the boat um, we've got storage either side below that is uh, engine room access uh, to the big Cummings 240 horsepower engine six cylinder um, so we have a two two gas and two electric hob with a extraction unit over the top and a built-in microwave oven underneath. Uh, we have a fully plumbed in installed a washing machine which uh, I don't think has ever been switched on. Um, we have a Oz fridge, fridge system which is fantastic and um, this can either be used as a fridge or a freezer. I'll just turn the light on So it's um, yeah, usable as a fridge or a freezer, but it's very deep and uh, very practical for its sea. But you also have a upright uh, freezer and fridge similar to what you'd have in a house. Uh, moving aft, you come into the owner's cabin. Uh, we have six, oh, sorry.